human walk. Wah. Yeah, that was my King Kong figure. Um, I gotta get the Monster Arts version of that figure because it is. Woo! Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about the dawn of the Planet of the Apes and. Wow. That, that was a just. Oh my lord, that sequel was just amazing. Like, oh, I couldn't have imagined a better sequel to Rise of the Apes. Oh man, I cannot wait for the <laughs> I cannot wait for the sequel. Oh, where should I start? Okay, first of all, um, Caesar, great as always. Andy Circus just does a fantastic job as Caesar. Um, he, I know he he played um, King Kong, Gollum, Lord of the Wing. Oh, just somebody just. Give him a, oh, just an award. Andy Circus is just great. The other performers playing the apes are just fantastic as well. Um, who, besides Caesar, who's my other favorite? Oh, it'd have to be Koba. Koba, 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 Koba. Koba gets the second place on my favorite ape list. The, the movie is basically about Koba, really. It's not even so, so much about Caesar anymore because. You know, oh man, there's not going to be too much too much spoilers in here. You're just going to have to check the movie out for yourself. But I highly recommend seeing the movie. It is oh, all types of awesome. I cannot wait to own it on DVD as soon as it comes out. I'm going to go buy it. Um, one little spoiler. Okay, one little spoiler. Um, James Franco's character, Will Rodman. He is not in this movie. Which, um, at first I thought was a little disappointing, but it wasn't, it wasn't distracting towards the rest of the movie. It actually kind of, you know, it, it didn't really bother me. I mean, they kind of sneak them in with a cameo via, like, camcorder. So that kind of worked. You know, it, it, at least they didn't totally just forget about them. I, I would have been a little pissed off if they did that. But, um... Simple, just phenomenal movie, phenomenal. Koba, again, let's go back to Koba now. If you go, you know, if you remember back in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, you'll recall that, you know, Koba is, just by, you know, looking at his character, you, you can see that he's like the insane um, ape who, like, was always tested on by humans, while, you know, Caesar kind of had, like, a pampered life, kind of, you know, spoiled by humans. So, of course, Koba is going to grow up to, you know, just hate humans with a passion. And you can tell tell that that's quite apparent in Rise of the Apes. And when I, when I watched Rise of the Apes, I, can, <laughs> I immediately could just tell that, you know, if any future films, you know, spawned because of Rise of the Planet of the Apes, I could easily tell that Koba was going to be an antagonist in at least one of them. And, wow... I, man, the confrontation between him and Caesar, fantastic. Couldn't have, ugh. I have no complaints about this movie whatsoever. No, no complaints about this movie whatsoever. Ugh. This is just everything I wanted it to be. If you haven't seen the movie, go check it out. It's phenomenal. And peace out.